What's up everyone? Today we're diving into one of the most fundamental concepts in neural networks, activation functions. Specifically, we're going head to head with sigmoid versus softmax. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly when to use each one and why it matters for your machine learning projects. Let's get started. First up, let's meet the sigmoid function, the OG of activation functions. Look at this beautiful S-shaped curve. The formula is simple but powerful. Sigma of x equals 1 divided by 1 plus e to the negative x. Notice how this curve behaves. When x is very negative, like negative 4, the output approaches 0. When x is 0, we get exactly 0 0.5, right in the middle. And when x is positive, like plus 4, the output approaches 1. This gives us a smooth transition between 0 and 1, making it perfect for binary classification problems. The key thing to remember, sigmoid outputs are always between 0 and 1, but they never actually reach those extremes. This range makes it ideal when you need to predict probabilities for yes or no questions. Now let's level up with softmax, the multi-class classification champion. The formula looks more complex, e to the power of zi divided by the sum of e to the power of zj for all j, but don't let that intimidate you. Here's what's brilliant about softmax. Look at these three bars representing different classes. Notice something special? They add up to exactly 1.00. That's because softmax converts any set of numbers into a proper probability distribution. In this example, class 1 has 10% probability, class 2 has 30%, and class 3 has 60%. This makes perfect sense for problems like image classification, where you need to choose between multiple categories, like classifying whether an image contains a cat, dog, or bird. The highest probability wins. Time for some hands-on action. Let's see these functions in real time. On the left, we have our sigmoid demo. Watch what happens when I input different values. If I put in zero, I get 0 0.5, exactly in the middle. Let me try two. We get 0 0.881. Now let's go negative with negative two. We get 0 0.119. See how it never quite reaches zero or one? Now for softmax, I'll input three values, one, two, and three. Watch the magic happen. We get 0 0.090, 0 0.245, and 0 0.665. Notice they sum to exactly 1.000. Try this at home. No matter what numbers you put in, softmax will always give you a valid probability distribution. That's the power of normalization. Let's break down the key differences in this comparison table. Use case. Sigmoid shines in binary classification. Think spam detection or medical diagnosis. Softmax dominates multi-class problems like image recognition or language translation. Output range. Sigmoid gives you values between zero and one, but they don't have to sum to anything specific. Softmax gives you a complete probability distribution that always sums to one. The vanishing gradient problem? Both suffer from it, but sigmoid is worse at the extremes. When values get very high or very low, the gradients become tiny, making training slow. Computational cost. Sigmoid is cheaper, just one exponential calculation per neuron. Softmax is more expensive because it needs to calculate exponentials for all outputs, then normalize them. Here's the golden rule that will save you hours of debugging. Use sigmoid when you have binary decisions. Email spam or not spam? Medical test positive or negative? Stock price going up or down? These are perfect sigmoid scenarios. You can also use it for multi-label problems where multiple things can be true at once. Use softmax when you have mutually exclusive categories. What's in this image? A cat, dog, or bird? It can only be one. Which word comes next in the sentence? Softmax is your go-to for these winner-takes-all situations. Remember this. Choose based on your problem type, not just because one sounds fancier. Binary problem, sigmoid. Multi-class problem, softmax. It's that simple. And that's a wrap on sigmoid versus softmax. You're now equipped to make the right choice for your neural networks. If this helps clarify things, smash that like button and subscribe for more machine learning breakdowns. Drop a comment below with your favorite activation function. I read every single one. 
Next week, we're diving into Relu and its variants, so make sure you're subscribed. Until then, keep learning and keep building. Peace out.